Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 17 of our Yuan Mo Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, Lady Ye has finally made it on down the coastline to destroy the defenders of the Great Plan here at Dai Chang. Initially we were going to land, let me go ahead and encircle back up. Yes. We were going to make landfall at Shi Wu since it had a little bit better defenders, but I decided let's uh, make landfall here at Dai Chang, that way we can smash through this settlement, recruit her up a few Spirit more uh, cheap and cheerful peasant blood. archers who chuck arrows at the enemy, and then we'll move on from there. We've also surrounded Fu Chao up in the north, but this fight we can absolutely just give the god resolve, so I'm going to. Uh, yoink. Then we'll head on back down south and fight that other army with Lady Yi. Fu Chao falls under our control, so soon we shall have a great dragon fleet port. Inside a grand fleet of merchant ships, bustling crowds make their way into the city marveling at the full crumb of international trade before them. 800 income, 20% more trade resources produced faction-wide, 30% more income from trade tariffs, and then 40 growth. A General extremely powerful Hulls. landmark, which is going to be probably even better once uh, Yin Yin finally arrives. Someone that actually starts right next to, or in Fu Chao. As far as Yuan Mao's skills go, let's go ahead and give him another point into Iron at Disciplinarian, work on the blue line. Celestial General. Put an additional point into Thunderbolt for Ming Hu. If we can't, go ahead and give you a few items. The Jade Amulet should be recharging your Winds of Magic. Crown of Command can be decent if we need someone to stand and fight uh, to the bitter end. Got a couple of blades we can combine up. Dragon Bane Gem for Fire Resistance. Let's combine that up with a Jet Amulet. See what we get. Ooh, a Ma Shard. Not my favorite. In fact, we'll go ahead and combine up the two Ma Shards. Or a Shield of Nan Gao. Where as long as you're not moving, you'll gain some Missile Block Chance and more armor. This will be good once he is on a... One of the big Ox Carts. The Compass. Tax Collector there for you, and we don't have that many Ancillaries laying around, so... That's as good as you get. Now back down to the True Battle. One more battle will give us an additional steel token as well, which is both. Plan is we're going to go ahead and reclaim one of the Bastion settlements up there in the north and turn that into a fortress settlement. Okay, you good? Big Hooves Cat has hauled herself up her tree, and now we'll dive into the fight. What you missed in the loading screen there was Mochi and Maka dueling over their cat tower. Uh, Maka wins this time. But not usually. She is the big chonky cat and tends to get bored of fighting quite sick, quite fast, and will just leave. Even though she can flatten them with a single blow. Let's go ahead and set up our cannons over here. Cathay and Minor settlements are very well defended from their own artillery, aren't they? Not concerning, but we can deal with it. We'll just kind of set them up on the hillsides. We've got our flyers to draw people out and cause a ruckus. Jade lions to kind of dash around and steal points. Uh, rifles to snipe out those important targets. We'll get the actual forces in line. So jade lions kind of out to the sides. Spearmen behind the gunners. Unless they decide to come on out and fight us, we'll leave the lads up front like that. You might pull the spears. Well, they're, they're getting everyone with a buff for now, so we'll leave them pretty close together. There it is. Let's get all the single entities as one. Alchemist and their cats. Archers and then the Spearmen, whom we are going to go ahead and slot into guard mode as well. Let's get this battle started. So let's first have these cannons knock down this tower, so we're not dealing with that nonsense. Rifles are already dealing a pretty heavy toll. Let's have them switch targets at this unit of skate cohort that can't really hide. It's just skinks though, so it's kind of a waste. 
We'll bring these rifles up the side here. Frost will then move up, get ready to be a nuisance. Same thing on both sides there. Send our crossbows in with the spears to keep them safe. Lions, your job is going to be going after... Taking you guys a fair bit to deal with this tower. It's dropping a couple of our brain guns. Finish them off there. There it is. Love it. Alchemists and... What else? Forward. Back enough so we're not getting chucked javelins at by the skinks, but we can start firing with both brain guns on. I'd say this group of Proxagor would be a good, a good target. Little Jay Lion breath here. Bring the crane guns back a bit. Alchemist, you as well. Just get ready to disrupt the more unfortunate Croxagore in there. We got more cannon tower or more towers coming up pretty soon. Oh, are you guys in a? Wrong attack mode there. Will you play? Let those crane guns keep firing. Should rip those poor Croxagore to shreds. We'll go Wall of Wind and Fire. It's all Saurus Warriors. Let's use it to destroy these poor skinks then. Tower is going up momentarily, so let's have the cannons burned fire on that. So we might as well go ahead and land and scare them. Oh, we did it a little bit too soon. Forward, everyone with the long spears. They dealt with those proxy core pretty aggressively. Source warriors with shields and blast them apart real quick. Just have the Jaden Jet Lion or the Jaden Celestial Lion then go land on these group of skin cohort. Move up the normal crossbows. Have them start firing there. We'll bring these crane guns. Help out with the Lord coming up. Crossbow teams, you guys come on back, and I'm not sure why you're advancing. We'll have the cannons blast away here. Lions, get away from, get away from the Stegadon. We'll slow them away, so you or slow them down, so you should be able to get away. Bring you up and around then. Port targets are up in the air. Cannons are blasting down the tower. Slow and steady wins the race. The lions are frolicking, but they're not doing a lot of damage. This is all skinks. We're not really too worried about that then. Go do your worst. Saurus are dangerous. But we'll eliminate them pretty quickly here. Right, let's go ahead and continue to advance here with these spears. They're also being quite smart with their moves here. Have you guys go destroy this. Make them worry about it. I'm going to wall of wind and fire through old one riders. Just be cheeky and see how much damage we get. Alright, our alchemist should be able to do terrible things to this group. A defensive assault into the settlement here. Drop down the metal and watch those poor fools get blended. You're fighting a Stegadon, I'm pretty sure, so we're gonna make sure you don't take crazy damage. Stegadon is not really a fight you want. Let's go ahead and pull back away from there. Let the cannons get back to blasting away at something. We move up and deal with these cold one riders. All of our archers on this side here. Work. That's a feral Stegadon that needs tearing down. This way. Take off. Stop those fools from running. Swords are fairly, fairly, fairly resilient. Bow teams up. Spears there. That should be able to destroy these, uh, these skinks, but they're struggling a little bit. We'll scare them off. Ah. Game Lion seems to be susceptible to our own magic. That we'll need to keep in mind. 
flying line, go after that group. We'll send you up to capture the point. Nothing should come over here to threaten us. Crossbows forward. Give them the old dragon roar. More ward save, and we'll just overcast the wind and fire. Them to fire through the Stegadon into the other, which is perfect. Construct is a little bit upset about all his uh, his damage he's taken. That group terrified off. Got a couple towers back in the area here in the back. Last one of these gold ones. Try to circle them around. We'll have our lions then move up after this next group of cohort. Oh, and get to work. Stop them from leaving for me. In fact, Jade Lion, you turn around and make sure there's none of that. And then we'll go ahead and switch you to knocking over that tower. That's likely going to be the win for us. They're struggling a bit there against the tower, so let's not leave them there. That would be a pretty bad call. Crash into this skink cohort. You guys move on to the next one. Ready to rule. Sugar gun Wall of Wind and Fire tends to be quite mean to uh, skinks. Flame some beef. Love the coloring on these guys, though. Like an almost more primordial spawning. Like much more musty looking purple and green I enjoy it that is a fantastic victory a decisive win that would have been even worse for them out on the open field no one really claims too much of the golden sword there all of the work was shared as it should be we'll simply claim Dai Cheng they don't seem to generate much wealth here the last offender settlements or what are these guys called? Hinders the Great Plan. Hinders of nothing at all. I wouldn't mind grabbing a Wujing Compass, but I'm not going to stay here for four turns. So let's go ahead and grab, just grab a couple more archers, and we'll coat the lizards in pokey sticks. Celestial General. Awesome. Well, what do they have built already here at Dai Chang? Wind shape. Nothing but a dock. That works for me. We have already bisected their very small empire. They don't actually build armies, I don't believe, so it's just whatever they can defend is all they get. So next turn, we should be able to actually so claim the Dragon Gate, depending on what Daz Minas does. With no defenders, it should just be us versus them, and I think we can handle that one. Celestial General. Achian Huo is back in the Isle of the Crimson Skull. Fight. Let's go ahead and be continue to give you more troops. We have the Moonbirds now. Yes. They're very expensive, but I want one. Flying monster, very fast, causes terror, has a flammable and flaming attack, so it should be able to light them ablaze and make them weaker to it. And a bonus for his inventory. Of 10. Excellent. Silvery moon fire for everyone. Alright. Lady Ye will give you strength of yang. And... Secondary point in the wall of wind and fire. I was born to wield it. You are a champion. As for Shui, let's go more mobility for next turn. We don't really have enough gold to go for anything here in the Imperial Road. Our next building is going to be the Paradise Gardens for the Moon Empress, uh, but it's quite expensive, so we'll get there. We will skip on through. Let's come back to Yuanbo. Exactly. Make sure there's nothing else that can be done here for the turn. In fact, I remember we surrounded Nash Tooftaker here with Yao Ming. Which is a fight we can just go ahead and not auto-resolve because orcs be like that sometimes. Alright then, Zhao. To the field.
All right then, we can risk magic for more favorable winds. I think not. We start to plummet. Uh, so it'll be six seconds before the black orcs show up. That's never a lot of fun. I think the plan here, though, is we're going to break them up in this bit of a choke point and this gigantic T-Rex skull. We're all very lucky that the ogres don't have their full roster. Let's go. Lance is hiding in the woods. We're going to probably need to retreat them back towards friendly territory because of the amount of cavalry the enemy has. More boys, more boys, and the Arachnorok, which... Arachnorok I'm pretty scared of. We'll do as an archers up front here. We want them mostly frontal. Jade warrior squads are going to have a really bad day. Not a lot we can do about it, though. We'll go elites in the center, just in case. More jade warriors as backups. Mines as one. Warriors. That'll work. And what else we have is these crossbow teams. So let's go like so. So the shielded lads are on the outsides. Defenders of Cafe. Right. All right. Infantry, missile boys, and then our flying cavalry. We'll have Yuan and the Lions up front. Or, uh, little Zhao and the Lions up front. Or boy Biggins, Spite. I figure out what we want to do the most damage to. So Xiao Ming has the Constellation. We can get surrounded by a group of cavalry and then just blow them up. That's a pretty good call. Let's leave him in human form to start here, and then we'll send him in to start drop kicking Nash and his friends. All right, lions, off to the side here to keep him protected, and let it begin. We're gonna bring these jade warriors out to the side, so we're not getting flanked. Y'all moving. I have never heard of that battle speech out of you. That was not very inspiring. The path of iron. All right. Shimon guides me. With the power of Shimon. Repositioning. You guys get a little bit closer so I can actually do some mean things to him. Let's go ahead and drop. Lord of oh, come on. Let me, let me be mean. Let him charge on in, and we'll drop the Celestial Big Boomies on their head. We'll immediately overcast that. We'll fly over the top so they can't escape. Skadoosh. Didn't do as much damage as I wanted, so let's go ahead and pull them away. Pull him away if we can. We can always just turn into a dragon to escape. Not that big a deal. Send the lions out to the sides to try to help out with the uh, cavalry fight that is ahead of us. Those are normal boar boys, and in combination, we should be able to win no problem. Give you a little bit more damage if we need it. We'll bring them back towards the crossbows a little bit more than they already are. Guys, go ahead and crash. Excellent. You guys hit the poor boys. We're going to think themselves uh, elite. And now they're trapped and ready to be destroyed. We've got some uh, street races going on outside, so I'll mute and we'll continue the battle from here. kind of guys that uh, enhance their mufflers just to make them more noisy. You know the type. They're pretty much everywhere. You a dragon. Become one. Embrace your final form. Since it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to uh, actually get around behind, we're going to send these guys to reinforce the line. Let those boomies keep working. 
cavalry come on away then, because we've got Arachnorok spiders trying to catch, uh, catch you. So we'll bring them through the woods this way. And the lions can go over the top and chase off these, these poor gobos. There it is. Make sure crossbows in the back line are dealing with. I would say these goblin archers, so they don't get any extra damage for them. And all of these bowmen go after the black orcs. Keep blowing up those orc boys that are running around like goons. Uh, you guys got caught by the spider, which is bad news bears. Get away from him. We'll have one of you give the roar of scare. Get rid of the gobos. We'll go ahead and smash into the back line. Terribly. Spider can keep up with the line. And must have Strider. We doomed them by sitting them through the jungle there. Go ahead and blast them. Magical fire through these poor idiots. We're getting plenty more fire as well. Let's have them bombard this area here. And no, no, no. I said bombard. Back into human form. Scare everything off in this front line here. Send the flyers and the lions after enemy skirmish calf. Make sure our own artillery is only blowing up the enemy. And targeting the vicious is a good good way to do that. Black orcs, actually not the black orcs, but the Arachnorok spider. So everyone on tier three except for you. Arachnorok is our our goal here. Explode them. Lances might as well come on back over and help. You're finding a spider, which is a horrible time for any giant lion. Sadly, we missed the newt going down, but let's drop the extra armor for big lion boy. Scores these poor fools. Oh, the cavalry charge from the uh, from the rear. That was definitely one that was defeated and came back. We'll send Dragon Guard to defend. No good. That's the only real damage we're gonna take here. I don't mind. Increase their damage by as much as possible. Big Angry Lion, you go after Nash. Drop these Black Orcs armor by as much as possible. Oh yeah, they're gone. Archer team. Turn around and blast into these Black Orcs. Yeah, I gotta give it to them. They, they got me with a rear charge. Pretty devastating. Lion should absolutely clobber that goblin. More fire, we want our cavalry out of the line where the black orcs are. Crossbows get on blasting the Arachnorok. Just gonna have you guys hang out in our front line. That's the Lord gone. Go ahead and have you turn back into the Iron Dragon, be nice and scary. And I think we've got him. Beautiful. We're to have an roast spider tonight. Though I might not partake myself. Might taste a little bit like a lobster. They're quite large. We've got plenty of gobbles to run down just for the experience and the fun of it. I'll catch you in a moment. We claim victory. Only 164 soldiers fall. Our Jade Warriors did take quite a uh, pounding. They had to fight. Black Orcs and an Arachnid Rock is a, is a bad time for absolutely anyone. Well, it looks like most of our losses might have been friendly fire. We'll just go ahead and lame the fire mouth. Indeed. Don't think we get access to the landmark there. It's an ogre exclusive, but we can dismantle this, hop in the hunting camp, and just kind of continue on our way. The Iron 
Back on. Indeed. As for our next point, we'll go Magical Reserves and Constellation of the Dragon at Tier 2. That way it is got a 50% less cooldown and costs a little bit less as well. Should blow up in Xiao Ming's face way less often. An extension of my celestial will. Who's an echoey boy? What we'll do from I there crave. is probably just cut across to either Blood Peak I guess we can move up and go after Black Fang and Craig Frag. We are going to need to stem the tide of Grimgore permanently, and I think it's going to be up to Xiao Mang to do. So once we get access to the Green Guardian here, we'll sub out some of these Jade Warriors, and he'll be excellent replacement. Karak Azorn, we'll go ahead and pop in Archer Platforms. That way we are in balance Alchemist that province. Zograk may decide to retreat and come after Azorn, and if that's the case, we'll just turn Xiao Mang around. No problem. Alright, bro. The so for you there, Ching. Your give you an additional unit of a spearman. And that will likely be our turn. Pop into diplomacy real fast. Our Gwylan is looking for a non aggression pack. Looks like they have lost their territory in the Empire, so I think a non aggression pact is. Now, finally worthwhile. One coin. Thank you, Durthu. So. Ooh, even more trade. Go ahead and pick up with Karakadrin. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. I figured I might be. We'll take the non aggression pact and military access with Ol' Ungrum. Sure. Who has secured a decent chunk of the mountains here. Well done. It usually goes, it's a complete uh, coin toss, whether the Dawi survive. And it yeah. usually hinges on both of them surviving. Billig. What brings you before the heir of Lund? I would love to trade. Agreed. Who calls? You make money, I make money. Seems like a good idea to both of us. Or go do he's trading with Blue Roses and Rictus. You have chosen evil friends there, Greases. Valiant Lord. Grab tree with Lord Low and see if uh, Auckland is still willing. What? We can trade with the Wardens of the Living Pools, too. They're actually friendly with the Bretonians. I have never seen that. Bretonia is usually a, a warmonger with the lizards. Yeah, might as well. Pretty sure these guys should be buddies with all of the other lizard men. The Empire. They don't actually do any expanding either, and I don't need the sacred pools. So I'll just completely circle around them and uh, get to claiming our lands we need here. So I'll have Yuanbo go from volcanic islands down to the Chulchin lands, or the Chulchin plains, which are a, a unit we need. Skinks on Chulchins. Which, if you don't know, that's like a Moa, or a big ol' uh, just a gigantic murderous ostrich. Ah, oh, we're barely from... So close. Where is the promised unity? Celestial we might be able to stop building somewhere. I can find one of our more recent builds. Click through real quickly then. We have got so much we can do. Well, if anything, I don't mind getting rid of one of our control builds. But we don't have that many of them going in. It's mostly really important buildings. You know what? We'll have plenty of gold next turn. Let's just go ahead and grab all of the upgrades this turn instead. Uh, so I'll back up to the Aymara Swamps where we can go nothing very useful. Broken lands. We can upgrade here to get more trade goods. We'll pass by that for a moment and upgrade the Monastery for more trade goods. 1700 for the Yang Sanctuary, but we're good on control there for now. Maku Peaks, we could get even more gold here for that. Call of Greases. I can't quite afford the stockade, so I won't. No real upgrade to the Mountains of Morn. Let's go Cattle Pastures for more growth, and then we'll swing on back down to Yuan Bowen in the turn. An eventful turn for sure. Misclick got us out here, now we're going to take some attrition. Sorry, lads. The sea lays, carry on. Be gone. 
before your execution is ordained. We have already uh, stamped the seal on executing Grimcore. He's for 5,000. He's currently fighting the evil dwarfs. I mean, we could get you on side probably eventually, but leaving Grimgore in any kind of capacity is dangerous, so no. Yao Ming, the creator. And Yuan Bo, the seafarer. No, I just wanted to swing on over to Yuan Bo, thanks. We have now completed the technology dynastic finishing, though. There are those who obtain status through ignoble means, and there are those who debase their heraldry. Fortunately, Drew Dragonblooded may replace them at a whim. Good grief. You so much as step a toe out of line. You want Mo shall replace you with one of his many children. Let's go a normal stance for now, that way we're not walking into an ambush. And then we'll likely still switch back over into March. Or arrival Herald's Doom. You had better not. It's a... This is mine. It will dismantle your Lizardmen empires one way or another. The Imperials are all apparently fleeing from Rakarth, which is a site he's probably well used to. Now we've got our 12,000 gold, so let's swing on back over to... the Celestial City. Up in those... Moon and Dr Empress Gardens. The Gardens of the Moon... I think we've already... No, they, no, we haven't. Gardens of the Moon Empress are of an outstanding natural beauty. Said to be even more magnificent than even the heart of Avalorn. Of course, we're going to lose the uh, lose our voice in the middle of that because Avalorn says no. In control, five more growth faction-wide. More income from this province and then a yin harmony. Looks like Daz Menace is retreating, so we'll move to... Oh, we can't claim the Dragon Gate this turn. The How sad. Let's move up to right outside then. He is building up the Occupied Bastion, so it's actually going to be a while before we get these Steel Tokens. Let's come on into the Matters of State. Can I just what give you... Like in the time? Was there life? Supply line operations, so you can then make it to the Dragon Gate? Let's see. Attention. 25% more movement means zero more movement. Level one, that's a thing. Move fast. So next turn, he'll get to Cross move further. All right, then. Next to our... Into our second tier of technology. Extra range for crossbows. Extra range for crossbows. And Gal Repo Maria will give us more melee attack and weapon strength. Probably after that, we'll grab the Astromantic Choir to give us even more Astromancers. The Imperial Bureaucracy awaits our command. Indeed. Move on south here to Lijiu. Celestial General. Shouldn't be too many dangerous defenders here. We'll go ahead and pop in the tea parlor for more growth and upgrade Fu Chao as well. Yuan Ye will have you come after the Tower of Ashun to finish off this province. Could hit Shi Wu this turn though. That'd be just fine. Which one has better defenders, I guess, is the this tower is very well defended. Chi Wu is, is as well. Dragon blooded Shugunga. We'll just go ahead and pop out. Shen Yang shows the way. And we can go into they must raiding on our way through. Tribute. Don't worry about replenishing up all the way. We are just gonna surround the Tower of Ashung and let them whittle away to attrition. It's not exciting, but it's a easy way to win. More growth here. Great exchange there at Wedge Inn to make even more money. Yao Kang, back and back in. Make sure we're zooming all over the place, aren't we? So then we can go into a march at a few Wily Village. We can come across and help out with the Tower of Ashun with this army. You have to keep in mind that these... Three the malevolent Kibler Elves wouldn't like us after fighting so much with Nakai, but... Their tolerance is quite, is quite high. 
the Lord Magistrate Being a good ruler ready. has its perks. Advance. Let's have the Gate Master come out to Taking explore. Position. Who's here at Nobly Gorge? No one. On guard. So we'll move in. Victory lies ahead. Go into an ambush Catch dance. Bring you just forward towards the gorge. And we're not wasting any movement next turn. We might be able to hit them. Start driving the undead back a bit. The Iron Dragon. Or Yao Ming, we can't quite reach Blood Peak, but I think Dragon Feng Liang can, so we'll have her make the move. Alchemist of the House of Secrets. We got more forces here at Amble Peak. So they've got at least some nasty skulkers and error boys coming out of the Valley of Horns. When's Grimgore already? Always an issue. The desert alchemist. We'll just move Get in, deal with Blood Peak, start threatening his capital. Xiao Ming. Decisive win. We'll give the Standard of Nangao over to these crossbows. Fire damage to the Lord, and that'll be that. And the Emperor's love. That will be that. We'll simply occupy Blood Peak. The and then I will have a Xiao Ming go into March Dance and go through from there. The Celestial Blacksmith. Aggressively up towards Blood Peak. Possible. Or up towards uh, Titan's Notch. Astro Master of Grand come through and try to steal some more tech. Secrets. Seeing you fall back to the Mall Gate, since we know exactly where Rimgor is now. Natural authority. Right, you've actually got most of your magic in order. We'll grab Strength of Yang here, or their passive, and then we'll start moving down the red line to buff up the troops. It befits my high station. I figured as much. Of Grand Cathay. Great Turtle Isle is really not very defended, so if we can sneak by after taking down the stuff over at Fu Chao, I think there's a sea route somewhere over here. We can then pop through and, and sneak up on them. First among warriors. No more goodies with the northern provinces. I would love to make this an allied army, but there's not a lot we use just yet that's very good. So we wait. Build up more allegiance. Field Jade Dragon's Edict, and then... Morathi. I find this to be a bad idea. How do the High Elves feel about us? We're trading with most of them. We're actually only trading with Kalidor. Did the other High Elves not like us very much? Now! Now! Confused, have we already yes. made deals with them? In most cases. I'm betting we have. They're just on the non-aggression side. Not one. None shall question me. Got a big deal there, and we can actually take a look proper. There are no high elves here. What what is going on? Are they losing Ulthuan that aggressively? Because we have no idea. Actually, it looks like they, they are. Sword of Cain is here. Well, it may be good to jump on side with Marathi then. What is it you see? I am most intrigued. Well, I also just realized we probably haven't met them yet. So we will not make deals with Marathi instead. We could recruit up another Astromancer here when we can, and we'll just send them across to just go make buddies with the elves. Be still. The Dragon Emperor's eye is upon you. Uh oh. You do not want to embarrass yourself. Doesn't look like she likes us very much. Is it war, Marathi? Not aggression packed for a thousand. I think not. Scryer has attacked Reichland. I actually thought we were already at war with Scryer, so. War it is then, Ickit. The caravan encounter the stranger. When the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. 
stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. His offer is to join the retinue, no pay. There is safety in numbers, but he'll help protect the caravan. Empire captain, or be gone with you. Our almost United Nations is coming along nicely. Oh, Yufu is back. Broken hearts. There comes an earth-shaking wail from beneath the Dragon River. Or it is said the spirit dragon slumbers, guarding Cathay's ancestors. While the Emperor makes no pronouncement, the import is clear. His long unseen daughter mourns to see the families of her homeland so divided. Reverent minds act accordingly. Extra relations with the northern provinces. Can we confederate Miao Yin yet? Favored. Still quite a ways off. She has claimed a lot of land for herself. We will then move in to secure. You were at war with the puppets of Mistral. As he switched sides. And not that I really care. Seems like he switched sides. Not gonna call our allies to help just in case. I should growls. We're not so scared. Instrument of the divine. Great Bastion is mine. We'll go ahead and build this up ourselves. In Great House. Hashtag Guard House. Of men. Back in Wei Jin, we could speed along growth further by adding a tea parlor. Yeah, that it does. Looking for any upgrades, things like gym mine settlements. Or growth there as well. But once we actually have Quinlan under control, it'll be quick to upgrade. Let's go Pottery Maker at Shiyama's Rest and a Tree Exchange as well. Shugengan Lord reporting. Right on through and hopefully not do any trespassing. The path of destiny. Hopefully not get attacked by angry trees. The dragon's love is in doubt. Love salt mining base here. And then have Yuan move to surround the tower. Their combined might should be more than enough to auto-resolve the tower of Ashung. They've got several extra skinks here. We'll surround up. Spill their vile blood. And wait for our reinforcements. Yuan Mao should be able to drop kick Liju, no problem. Kindly, we will take this win. The front line. Our front lines are incredibly tattered at this point, though. We'll need to probably take a couple turns General to replenish. Of the celestial host. Once we are able, we might want to go ahead and come on in and grab the supply line operations on this army instead. That way they can keep their march up. Celestial General. Final point into Disciplinarian. In UG, we'll go forward that second point is Searing Doom. Such a good spell. Worth every last win. This way, Come on out. Back into your settlement once more, so I'm not worrying about that notification. Swing on down to Papa Bo. Of the winds. We'll keep on moving. It's better tired of the seas, but it'll be worth it. Hey, this shipwreck as well. Oh, we. This is one of them that's a battle, so we'll have to. You know what? Being in March Dance here is a so very much. bad idea. To the boats. Not a lot we can do about it, though. To the boats, brave mortals. Got Gorsh coming on in from the north. He's the got a nasty-looking army. Can we slow him down at all? The assault his units. That are having issues and withering away here in uh, uncorrupted lands. I refuse. Not a bad, not a bad job there, Chian. Gate master. City command. Let's have you kind of pull back to Chiang, but we can. From here, we shall rest easy knowing exactly where they're at now. I serve. Chiang, I'm so incredibly glad that you were here, but we've got 
muck building up probably a ton of archers. Think about no. Looks like Grimgore is out and about now. Young sends me. Always a good time. He can only... We can't reach any settlements this turn, so if he goes after the Vale of Titans, we should be able to Jade Commander. rotate. You have much move to join Fang. Yeah, come up and drop kick the Titans notch. No, never. Don't we know again? Thousand. Never in a thousand years. Fight. Want to resolve that? And have you stopped complaining? Fire. We will sack Declaw Titans notch. These animals. Indeed. Hmm. March off. stance. Oh, Blast you can't off. quite reach. He is not the kindest, is he? Praise be to the iron wind. Yeah, we'll just stay where we're at. Might as well do some channeling. Celestial Even if we can't really build, we can't build it up further than it's already up. So we'll go back to normal. Shang Yang worships me. Eternal. General. You are doing your job nicely. We can have Chan Huo. So you all have been defeated that aggressively. We're gonna deal with a, a, a double stack of Rakarth now. Not a lovely sight. Of the we'll divine. grab an additional great moon bird. I see no reason not to. And then we'll give you a Astromancer. Weapon specialist sounds good. We'll send the strategist over to both one. We should be able to recruit him up here. Shunhei. Give my man an additional point into yes, break control, skill technology. Got two additionals. We'll just go for a wound. Celestial wind, reveal my path. Your job is to go discover Cat and the island of Ulth One. And Hong Yu here ready. will join this army. points of Thunderbolt, one point of Midnight Wind, and then we'll grab the maxed out Comet. Start dropping rocks on people's heads. By the dragon shall be Can't give him any items either. Quick Silver Armor sounds good. Wand of Jet. Spell Shield would be good on someone else. But those are good for now. Usually we are lacking in Ancillaries, but we might have an extra water snake breeder, but we do not. Not this time. Our worship goes unheard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna land it and take out Wellsprings. We should not do any upgrades there. Celestial General. Hung is tier three, so we could go for Phoenix Temple. Statue fashioned in the shape of a vermilion bird. P400. This one I don't think is actually worth getting into tier 3. Especially since we're not really being attacked from the south. So let's go for the Cinnabar Mining Pit. We're going to make a little bit more gold. Mock Peaks, we can go for the Marble Quarry. Bamboo Crossing, I'm going to grab more growth growth here at Wiley Village as well. Excellent. I'll get to zoom around to the different lords. I am going to have Feng Liang move to the south of Yeti Peak. Then pop into an ambush. Xiao Ming should convince them to go north. We'll have Gong Ming go join up with Feng Liang as well. Alchemist Symbol the Avengers. Strategize. you're safe for now, so let's just pop out back the into the mall gate. Would and then we shall go for the Bastion Reinforced here at the Dragon Gate, so we get 25 more growth and a nice drop in construction cost for all uh, province-wise of all Bastion buildings. Sounds good to me. Storm Dragon. More trade agreements. I'm thinking Hawkland. Are they back again? Well, I would love to trade with Itzen. I'm going to start making peace with the surviving Lizardman factions. I don't know if they're going to claim the settlements we want. 
Approach us, friend, and make your offer. But we can be buddies with Hawkland. We'll just take the trade agreement for now. And all the gold they have in there. Fine. The treasury. Works for me. Now, now! Now with that gold, what can we do? More growth got chi. And I think I'm gonna save the rest. That means we swing on back over to you on bow. Oh, can give it another turn. I trust you will not waste my time. Time wasting is extremely likely. Oh, he's going after Shambletown. So it's Shambletown or peace. We'll take your gold and we'll prepare for your next invasion. But you're willing to give me that much? Only three thousand. So yeah, we got to take this max off. That's kind of that's kind of weak there. I don't want anything else out of you, so just go ahead and give me the gold. I got friends coming by, so I'll be right back. And by friends, I of course mean the local Wav Orcs. Not sure exactly what's going on there, but they are a noisy bunch. An agreement, mine hold, shall rejoice. Charisma and charm for Chien Wo. Dragon Gate is besieged. Yeah, we're about to have one of those where they're trying to stop us from building up the gate for a few turns while they bring their troops over. I see you. All the world envies Cathy, er, all the world envies Cathay's most grandiose technologies, but it is in its smallest of things, which is the cogwheels no larger than a human hummingbird's eye. We truly innovate. Yes, more range and more armor-piercing damage. Attention! We're all gonna fight together. Lowest victory with medium casualties. Or I say yes. One should feel no shame in retreat. There's a doom train in the background. We could pretty easily drain most of Zatan's armies here, so let's pick ourselves a new technology. Yeah, what? Extra melee defense is great. Let's just go for the additional capacity for Astromancers and four extra recruit ranks. They're going to be coming in at, I think, rank 16 at the, the minimum. Investment which is just goofy. In the future. They show up already able to throw rocks. Of the dragons. Uh, Shuo Tang, you can come join up with our boy Yu here. We'll kick out one of the, uh, the archers or the spearmen. My destination set. Destination set. Raids here. We'll actually do all the important stuff first. We'll have Yuan Bo explore this island. Hello. A convoy of trading ships carrying myriad precious goods across a nearby sea route have been brought low by the angry sea god Stromfels, much to the chagrin of wealthy merchants and investors back at their home ports. Knowing that such a wreckage could be a highly profitable salvage opportunity, you sail towards the area, but unsurprisingly others have also caught wind of it. You could continue your approach, but this might end in confrontation at sea. Everything on the sea belongs to Cathay. So we claim it. And then we venerate. Taking a bit of attrition there. I was hoping we would gain a ability to... One of those traits that gave us a bit back. But not the way this time. I'm going to completely ignore the Awakening. And head towards the Star Coast. Looks like we're absolutely going to have to deal with Skaven. We'll sit off the coastline for a turn and figure out our, our course of action. Tactical acumen brings and then in. Victory. Let's go fleet footed for Yuan. Master of the Meteor Winds. And then we'll go ahead and give you a secondary point into Bandolier so you got more crossbow bolts. Cathay's forces were created for such triumphs. Astromancer will grab Chain Lightning on to help blend up groups of Skaven. Ming Hu will finish off Thunderbolt. Ignorant tool. Ignorant tool. Not the nicest thing. We can come on and sail out to that shipwreck. Our front line is looking pretty rough, though. Likely they'll make us fight this one, but let's see. 
since we haven't had a lot of good opportunities for proper battles, I've been making this these last few episodes quite long to kind of compensate. If we want to try to make progress as best we can. So the Risen Isle there, we gain materials at sea for more income from all buildings actually wide by 10%. 13,000 income. Yes, please. Serve from the front. You come on back over to Lijiu. We can just probably use them to uh, drop pick the no tower. That way we can have much progress as possible here in the next episode. Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll just ought to resolve that one. Claim like back the tower of Ashung, which is one of your your points that you have to claim normally here. With I think is. I don't remember which one exactly, but over on the Realm of Souls map, Tower of Ashug is one of your targets. We must be tired. There we'll have Young Kang just go on back. Fly the Emperor's flag. Then defend a Wily Village. Meanwhile, this soldier. Oh, we've already got too many allied troops in there. To serve me is a privilege. Can we wait for four turns for a Moonbird or a uh, War Compass? I think we can for a Moonbird. Celestial we'll give the tower a key parlor for more growth. And we'll continue on our way. Of Slaughtering men. the Defenders of the Great Plan. Next, we'll go into a point into Reassuring Presence. Taking less attrition is always the dragon pretty blooded. undervalued skill. The will of the dragons for uh, Madame Ye. Searing you here. Power in the blood. Ring of the Yang for Madame Kang. That looks good. From my ancestors. All right then. Twenty-six thousand gold to work with. Want to try to spread it out in our. Most important settlements like here in Shangwu, so let's go ahead and upgrade the docks at Shilong and the Yang Sanctuary. Six turns off from having a provincial capital, which is awesome. Go ahead and pop in the Wares Market here. Early Yen 2. That puts things at a little bit of an interesting predicament. We'll figure that puzzle out here. We are in Once the settlement is fully hitted out. The Aymara Swamps also just need to upgrade the walls, which we're going to ignore for now. Wu Hung, absolutely upgrade the river port here. I think we want to wait. Well, it did take a long time, so let's not. Fallen Gates, we can grab the Eastern Bazaar. I like walls. And then Goods Emporium there. Lord Skeggy will upgrade the port at, as well as add in the parlor. And upgrade probably Ziggurat of Dawn here. Excellent stuff. We'll keep ignoring the Mountains of Morn, even though it makes me quite sad. Upgrade Pothwax. Is the Monument of the Moon in any, any real dangers? Oh yes, it absolutely is. So we will upgrade the Pagodan Walls here. Master of the heavens. You move on in to Let's discover Ulthuan. Absolutely go for the upgrades of the Contemplation Gardens. Spreads this is a little bit more whiplash for everyone. And that should allow us to meet the Cain, right? Great. The overtime. There they are. I am Tyrion. We don't have enough Champion gold to offer you anymore, but buddies, we shall soon become. At your service. Well, you know what? I'm I'm keen on declaring war on Bellicor. We haven't already. He is less strong than attained by a little bit, so let's go I ahead and make a deal with him. You have to say and the merit of your actions. Join your war with the Shadow Legion. You give me all of the deals. Understood. Now we'll spy on your people. How oh, lovely. Extreme with Illyrian as well. Of what request would you make of the Phoenix King? Wise indeed. Just trade, my friend. Must faced. 
Trading with Greece is what also allow us to secure your request. A kind of a spy network in his lands too, but that would also strengthen him against Imric, which we don't really want. So we'll leave that as is. I'm thinking with that. That's gonna be all the time I have got for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's Yuan Bo episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub zone. See you in the next one.